I got the ring from Dangler. Hmm. Yeah, well, I, uh, I suppose there's... Mm-mm. <coughs> uh, yeah, thanks to you too. Ask me. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Shall we ride out? Aye. We ought to set out on patrol about now. Hope you've got your kit ready and whatnot. I'd like to head to the north. Is there anything you north of here? Uh, Samapesh and Merhoyed are that way. And Talmberg is a bit further on. There's stables in Merhoye. I wouldn't mind paying a visit to those stables. We can go... And from there? From there, we'll follow our noses. Something interesting is sure to turn up. I feel it in my bones. Sure. What a fine day, eh, brother? Indeed, brother. You know what I like best about days like this, Yarn? Hmm. The scent of chamomile wafting from the hillsides. Among other things. Ah, like the rounded hills, rising, pertly, all soft and pink in the sunlight. And the fertile valley below, spreading wide and inviting. Dew glistening in a mossy hollow. The sweet aroma of honey in the air. The sturdy poplar, standing tall and erect. Aye, it reminds me of that day. That day, where the two of us fought Fletch's ma. <laughs> <laughs> Very tall. He's made a stuffed poplar. Your ma's a stuffed bird. <laughs> I stuffed them myself. <laughs> I can't smell any chamomile. Well, men, how are things? May I? Yes, Fletch. How shall I put it? I'm a little concerned about the prospects in these parts, Chief. Oh, how's that? I've been looking around, and if you'll pardon me, it seems to me that we've been stuck for a long time in the arsehole of beyond. It's not Paris, France, I'll grant you. What I mean to say is, we haven't got any new kit, or arrows since the day Jakey joined us. It makes me uneasy, Chief. I see. What about the rest of you? I don't know what Fletch is. Fletch Streaming is now live. Streaming Kingdom Come. Deliverance. Not streaming at PS will try to talk via chat. Drops enabled. It's the arsehole of beyond everywhere we go. And it always makes me uneasy. Jakey! Fletch can complain. I was supposed to get a suit of armor, and all I got was a shitty kettle hat. Sorry, but they don't do hauberks in girl sizes. Oh? Well, how did you get yours, then? All right, I appreciate your honesty, lads. Don't worry, there will be plunder. We're here to fight, and to the victor the spoils. And so it's always been, but no purse of silver will shed blood for you on the battlefield. That's what this company is for. And I hope you never forget the golden rule. You can joke all you want. 
Moan all you want, but nothing will keep your skins in one piece better than trusting your leader, who you choose by your own free will. So don't ever forget that. Amen. Chief, I think there's something going on over there. Let's go! Behind me, and keep your eyes peeled! What do you think we can expect this time, fellas? Groshen. Hidden in a piss pot under the bed. A nice chunk of beef. No one there will be eating. On account of it, it'd just fall out through the holes in their bellies, eh, brother? <laughs> <laughs> My mouth is already watering, brother. And I ain't even touched a purse yet. Once you get your hands on some loot, I'll be happy to play you for your hard earned grush back of the camp. Poor old Fletch. Never gets to see the action from close up. What about you, Dangler? What do you expect to find? Utility in human suffering, like always. Always full of good cheer, eh, Dangler? Why don't you take a leaf out of Stone's book and shut the fuck up? Jesus, I wish you'd all shut the fuck up. Keep your eyes peeled, though. There might be someone hiding out here still. Look for clues. And question the survivors, if there are any. Jesus Christ, what a massacre. No signs of resistance. They simply slaughtered them like animals. Looks like it happened fast. Oh, they can't be all that clever or they'd have taken the God Almighty. Ship. I wonder if they found anything valuable at all. Kuno will want to know about this. I found this shield in a shed along with a letter. Seems like someone left us a message. Show me that. Hmm. I know that crest. It's the house of Zul. A dangerous lot, God's truth. I don't think we'll find anything else here. We'll stay here a while, just in case. And you should go and report to Radzig what happened.
do you know about these Zools? A family of impoverished nobles. They fought in the Margraviate Wars in Moravia. But what they're after in Bohemia, I've no idea. I thought I could go and search for those raiders. They might not... All right. It's always good to have an extra pair of ice. We'll keep searching here for a while, and then head back to the camp. Let's hunt some. Come along. Good boy. That's my boy. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Did you find any tracks? Some, a horse or two. They rode off through the meadow towards dawn. 
They're avoiding the road, which is interesting. Towards dawn? Meaning towards the east. Apart from the mounted ones, there were some men on foot too. Well weighed down. Well, they can't move too fast then. No. And what's more, they left a trail of blood. One or more of them might be wounded. Either that, or they dragged off some poor bastard from here. Nice work. Thanks. Poor creature. Hunted down like game. Looks like they carried away a lot of stuff. This way. Seems they met some resistance at the farm. Ugh, what a waste. But at least I know which way they went. they are. What's going on there? Hey! Is someone... <laughs> well, I'm... The pig turns up willing. <laughs> Come and get me. Some 
towards dawn, meaning to... Poor creature. Hunted down like game. Looks like they carried away a lot of stuff. They went this way. Seems they met some resistance at the farm. What a waste. But at least I know which way they went. I tracked down those... You did? A short way to the east, in a glade in the woods. How many of them are there? About ten or so. Ten? Fuck. I'll tell the lads we're gonna deal with them. Nice and quiet. Hey! To me! Now! Listen up! Henry tracked down those bastards who raided the farm. They're dividing up their loot, not far from here. So let's pounce on them and give them what for. Move out!
quiet as the grave, as the stone would say. That's a good one. I haven't heard that one since. Let me see. At a loss for words, are you? <laughs> Stop it, please. Or I'll split my sides laughing. I'd feel sorry for the stone. Imagine not being able to insult your enemy's mother. Ah, big mouth Jakey makes up for it. I don't know how you managed without me for so long. Who was it needed their back covered last time? Jakey. Jakey. Fuck you. I don't need minding. We all cover each other's backs. That's how this band works. Get used to it. I've no intention of getting myself killed by a bunch of bandits who pillaged a farm for cabbage. Well, I don't know. You might get mistaken for a cabbage yourself. Aye, he's green enough. <laughs> I'll cover you, Jakey. Got it? Thanks a lot, Fletch.
<laughs> right. We'll have a look around here for, uh, uh, clues. Meanwhile, Henry, you go and report to Radzig. Yeah. Have some fun. Day. I've got some goods. All right.
I've got some. Yeah.
Greetings. Sir, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Christ! It seems pretty slavic. Now this is something else, sir. We found a shield there with a crest. I know that coat of arms. There was a letter there. To Show it to me. Although I think I already... Here you are, sir. Unscrupulous beast. Mm -hmm. Cruelty and malevolence. Uh -huh. I challenge you to face me in a duel. Defend your honor. As I expected. Old grievance. This Sir Hagen wants to challenge you to a duel. Apparently, he still hopes I will agree to this kind of outmoded solution to disputes. But surely you can't refuse a challenge to a duel. What about your honor? Henry, my boy, honor is a splendid thing, and it should be held in high regard. But in time, you'll learn that some matters are not so straightforward. Like this one? Yes, like this one. The only reason Hagen is challenging me now is that he has a marked advantage. I've served as the royal hetman for the last 15 years and become a courtier. That's not honor, but an abuse of honor. Commonplace opportunism. I don't blame him for trying. <laughs> what happened between you and Sir... That's a long... Well, I'd like to hear the whole story, sir, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. It began in the first year of King Wenceslas's reign. He sent me to resolve a dispute between the Zuls and a neighboring house. It concerned land boundaries. The Zuls had refused to accept the ruling of the land court. His Majesty's position was a little shaky after his coronation. So a decision was made in the royal court to take radical action against any dissent in the kingdom. Since the Zul family was defying the king, we were obliged to punish them. Harshly, as the circumstances demanded. The head of the family, Hagen's father, was hanged. Their castle razed to the ground and their property confiscated. So, they're out for vengeance. But you acted according to the law. Would it were that simple, lad? I was young and didn't realize the repercussions it would bring. For one thing, the king didn't use it to strengthen his position. On the contrary, he took less and less interest in such affairs. How come? Because he realized things would eventually sort themselves out. He promoted me to Royal Hetman, leaving him to pursue other interests. Secondly, my actions essentially created another band of robbers. When you strip a nobleman of his property, you can't expect him to take to begging. And thirdly, I wasn't aware at the time that the other party to the dispute was distantly related to me. Naturally, that made it look like I was acting in self-interest. If I'd known what I know today, I'd have been a lot more circumspect. Well, what are we going to do about this? You and Kuno's band will just have to deal with Hagen and prevent further mayhem. The longer he's marauding around these parts, the greater the chances that I'll finally have to succumb to... So you'd fight him? If it came... Let's hope it doesn't come to that. But maybe there's something else behind this challenge. Maybe it's coin he's after. All right. We'll deal with him, sir. I'm sure you will, Henry. I'd like to ask some... Sure. See you later.
What do you want from me now? I'd like to uh, order something here. So what are you interested in? A bit of everything. I'm sure you'll take care. Good health to you. I've got some goods here whose owners might... All right. Let's see what we can do about that. Let me with you. Yeah.
I'd been to see Sir Ralph. So how did he take the news? Well, he wasn't exactly happy about it. I can well imagine. I wouldn't want the Zools plundering my estates either. He wants us to carry on patrolling the area. That makes sense. I don't think he'll come to us. So we'll just have to hope we run into him. I'd like to check out the big forest to the north. Sure. Mount up then, and let's... Please, can we stop for a bit? My arse is aching, and I've such a thirst I could drink a moat dry. Same here. Now, what do you say, Chief? Not to worry. We'll re-choose it soon. We'll spend the night there. I heard they've got a peculiar priest there. <laughs> they say he drinks like the devil himself. <laughs> There's nothing strange about that. Every other man of the cloth is a swill pot. Or a lecher. Or both. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. Listen. Nothing to fear. We're with Sir Radzik, in a manner of speaking. What's the matter? These brigands came. The menfolk fled and left us there. They started pillaging the place, drinking whatever they could find and smashing things. I ran off, but the other girls... They... We've got to save them. Please, I beg you. Easy, lass. Drinking, you say? I, sir. They rolled the casks into the courtyard and started swilling like pigs from a trough. Well, as our old cook used to say, if you want to make a proper goulash, you should soak the meat in ale for a while to soften it first. Ah, let them get well soaked and then go and chop them up. Good thinking, Chief. But what about the girls? Those men, they, they were... Ah... I'm sure your friends won't be getting nothing they ain't had before. Well, unless they be nuns. <laughs> <laughs> you Kuno, know, the girl's right. If we delay, her friends will pay the price for it. I appreciate your advice, Henry. But it's caution that'll keep you alive, not chivalrous deeds. You promised Sir Radzig you protect his fiefdom, and that means his subjects, too. Come on, it's not like their lives are in any real danger. Hagen's men just want a bit of fun. A bit of fun? Are you fucking serious? You know very well, Kuno, how innocent girls can end up after a bit of fun with animals like... Well, I, for one, am not going to sit back and let it happen, even if I have to creep in there myself and try to rescue... Oh, all right. It's not the smartest thing to do. But let's go and tackle those fuckers, if that's how you want it. Good. Right. We better... Girls from...
Who wants their back covered? My right arm is stiff since last night. Cover that side for me. It's all in the wrist, Dangler. <laughs> and best to take off your gauntlet first, so as not to do yourself an injury. Still, it's always good to have your helmet well polished before battle. Right side then, yeah? Look out. Hey, fellas. Well, since it's so dark, why don't we just sneak in and take them down stealthily? <laughs> What's so fucking funny? That's not really our style, Sonny. Anyway, Jan stinks to high heaven. They smell him a mile off. You want to have a scrap with me? Scrap? That's putting it... You've nothing better to do. All right. You're a man after my own heart. Well... You're very sure of your... Ah! 
No need to go around killing people. Well, uh, except Jesus. Maybe they poisoned a well. But that one over by St. Bartholomew's, we used to sit there every day. I'd have noticed that. The water stank anyway. Oh, the whole fucking elf stink. Especially by the mill. The mill man. Because the mill hands, now they were a pack of fuckers. And we all belonged to the Miller's Guild. They say the ugly girls jump into the mill race, so the wheel will mill them into pretty mates. I don't know. They left us some damn good booze here. And as my old man used to say, the fire of battle must be quenched. Of course, the only battle he was ever in was with Ma. But still, it fits. Anyway, I hope you'll drink with us. Sure. Why look a gift horse in the mouth? Mo Me and the lads were just saying how we know nothing about you. Most of the folk around here have hardly been further than the village market. But you must have seen a thing or two. That I have. I suppose you heard about the raising of scallops. Aye, I heard. And Radzig told me you're from there. That's probably not the kind of story to go with wine and good cheer. Hey, Henry, fancy throwing some dice? Once I met a very peculiar character in Sassau. He was selling amulets, relics, and all sorts. Charles, you want to watch out? Indeed. But the sorcerer's apprentice? You're having me on, right? No, no, it wasn't like that. He just wanted me to, um, acquire some things for him. What kind of thing? Like a tooth from St. Pr what? Relics like that? Oh, of course. So instead, we settled for a tooth from some labourer called Procopius. So this fella was walking around with a mouthful of relics? <laughs> well, in the end, the charlatan was driven out of town by an irate mob. I was lucky they didn't lint. Nobody likes a swindler. Tell us another. Do you know Talmberg? Oh, yeah, I do. It's that castle on the hill, not far from here. That's right. Sir Divish is the lord there. You might have heard he was locked up in his own castle for seven years by another lord he had some... I remember hearing something about that. How did he get out? His wife, Lady Stephanie, managed to get justice for him in the end. Right. But I thought you were going to tell us something... I'm getting there. It's to do... She took a liking to me and asked me to help her get some things for her cousin's wedding, which I did. So the lady was nice to you? That's a ch No, you don't get it, Kuno. She was... What are you... No. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of a surprise for... Are you mad? Did it cross your... No, I suppose. But I was caught up in the moment. Jesus, Henry. Let me give you a word of advice. We're not from here, so it doesn't matter much. But I wouldn't go... Of course not, don't worry. Tell us another. Have you heard of Sir Hans Ke I heard his name mentioned in Colleen, in connection with some wench, as I recall. Yeah, that's him. He's going to inherit Ratai once he comes of age. I, well, 
Once, we were at the baths together, and his... Naturally, that's what the baths are for. Yeah. But with Sir Hans, nothing is ever straightforward. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I did, but I had to strip myself anyway to get into the tub. Only, no sooner had I done so, than his lordship demanded wine. I reckon you're a man who can't resist it. <laughs> if I'd been sober. I went all the way there and back in my undergarments. And no sooner was I back, than he sent me to pick flowers for... <laughs> it's starting to sound like a... Well, actually, he probably did have a third wish, but he didn't get a chance to say it. How's that? Well, I got back only to find the girl's sweetheart, some guard called Arson Balls, well, that's what Sir Hans called him, trying to drown him. <laughs> drown a nobleman over a win. Well, Sir Hans was naked and drunk, so he didn't look very noble. <laughs> anyway, I tackled this fella and saved Sir Hans from... It could have all got out of hand, but it ended with only a few bruises. Sir Hans never... All that trouble for nothing. A nice story, but let's... Can you tell me something? What do you think about this business with Hagen Zul? Hagen Zul? That robber baron who's been pillaging Sir... He did. But then he says a lot of things. Zul, ride somewhere, kill some fellas.
Hey, Jakey. Want to get made? What do you think about the Zool? Huh. I'd rather keep that. I reckon. I might not be grown up yet, but I've walked in these shoes long enough to know. Wait, what are you trying to say? Uh, never mind. It's just a feeling I have. If Kuno heard me talking about it, he'd tan my heart. All right, we'll draw. Tell me something. What do you want to know? What do you think about this? Well, I'm worried Kuno is underestimating Hagen. I was at the siege of Lansenbach with the both of them, so I know a thing or two about it. Hagen's got all these knights to talk of honor and glory. Kuno reckons they're like lost lambs on the battlefield. What's it about, Steph? Ah, Henry. The very man I wanted to see. Uh... Let's not beat around the bush. I... I think the stone has had the ring long enough. I'll help you. I want to steal the ring from the stone while he's asleep. But that fella sleeps with one eye open. He needs a little help with sleeping inside. And I've got a feeling you're the kind of man Sure. I'll bring you some... Great. I knew I could count on you. And if you happen to come across that ring... Stefan, can you tell me something? Uh, what is he want? What do you think about this business? I'd say you and Sir Radzik are very fortunate to have Kuno on the job. He's a... Is he? Dealing with bastards like Hag and Zool demands both courage and sharp wit. It's not a commonplace combination. Can you tell me something? Why not? What do you think of... That's a very tricky matter, I can tell you. Them Zools are well known among us mercenaries. Hagen and his two brothers fought in the Margraviate Wars. That's quite a feather to have in your cap. But on the other hand, they've got their weaknesses. Like what? They still like to think of themselves as high and mighty lords. Kuno got over that, thank You think Hagen's men have no great love for him? Well, I'd say they're running before his whip more than following his flag, if you understand me. Aye. Can we set out? Sure. We'll head towards Sassau today. Jakey heard at the tavern in Ledechko that someone there saw some unfamiliar horseman. You think they could be Hagen's? Maybe, maybe not. It's enough that they're not local. Could be the escort of some merchant caravan. Jakey, go and scout ahead. Don't want us running into any surprises. 
See if there's a good spot for us to camp. Right, Chief. What's the matter with Jakey? No back talk. I gave him a swig of snaps at supper. Perhaps it made a man of him overnight. <laughs> <laughs> All that boar piss of yours took away his will to live. <laughs> To be there, it's a pot of kivina. Nest in his nest, SMS is viva. Nest in his nest, SMS is lavi. She's a little nest, right now, lavi. Hey! Yes, we are cheating, and I'm blaming no hardy. Push the
the woods. We'll lose them there. What now? I don't know. They could be lying in wait for us anywhere. Someone must have snitched on us. We should split up and get the fuck out of here. So every man for himself? Just so. But you think it was one of the band who betrayed us? Look around for yourself. Who's missing? Jakey, that's who. I sent him on ahead and he knows which way we're going. That little fucking Judas. When I get my hands on him, he'll rue the day he was born. I'll try and track him down. He can't be too far away. No, it's too risky. He could have Hagen's people all around him. All we need to do is get out of here in one piece. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I was able to swim. Want to earn a bit of coin? 
There's nothing to it. Good day. At him! Yep. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? <laughs> <laughs> ah. What now? I don't know. They could be lying. So every man for himself? Just so. But you think it was one of the band who betrayed? Look around for yourself. Who's missing? Jakey. That's who. I sent him on ahead. 
and he knows which way we're going. That little fucking Judas! When I get my hands on him, he'll rue the day he was born. I'll try and track him down. No, it's too risky. God save God be with you. Can you tell me something? Why not? I haven't been to...
I see everyone made it back in one piece. Thank Christ. Someone up there must like us. Somehow we always manage to get out of these sticky situations. Well, someone up there, or someone down there. Yeah, right. Well, the main thing is we made it. So we'll go patrolling again? We will, but not you. What? Why not? I found out where Jakey is. I want you to grab him and beat everything he knows about Hagen out of him. Well, that sounds like a good plan. For one thing, you're reliable. And for another, you're not likely to wring his neck on sight. Which can't be said for the rest of us. And where is he hiding? He isn't a little shit. He's drinking away his 30 pieces of silver in some alehouse, bold as brass. Be in on the meadow or something like that. Be in in the glade? Yeah, that's the one. What are you going to be doing in the meanwhile? We'll go on patrol as normal. It could be a trick, you see, to lure us into a trap. But what if they're waiting to spring a trap on me? It could well be, Henry. So you should be very careful. But one thing's for sure. Jakey won't be there forever. And someone's got to go and check it out. I'll get going, then. Go. And when you find him, deal with him however you see fit. Just make sure you find out what he knows first. Right, Chief. Yeah. Jesus, what are you? Hey, I've got this thing going in Pribislavitz, and there's plenty of pro- Sorry, Henry, old pal, but I'm up to my ears on my own problems. Take care. He already t no. So go and see him. This might be our chance. God be with you. Wouldn't you like a change? We're rebuilt. Are you mad? I got the best in the province. Isn't there any way you could be pre Not a chance. Would you have a job for it? Maybe... Hmm. No problem. I can go to... I could send a stable boy for that. Gate? But that's near impossible. <laughs> ah. Of course. I'd pay you well for anything. And if you help me out here and there... That's an... How's trade? Nothing we can't handle. I'm looking for a young... A cheeky looking sh That'll be him, all right. Well, I don't like to snitch on my guests. It ain't good for business. Thanks, Andrew. Well, I was gonna throw him out on his ear at first. He strolls in here like some lord, ordering p But then, he showed me the weight of his person. He stayed here a couple of days. 
Yesterday evening he was boozing you. And then went off to the woods with some wet. To the woods? That's a very broad term, isn't it? Someone said they saw them heading south across the meadow. There's pine woods there and cliffs. The girl's father was here with her, a merchant. As soon as he noticed she was gone, he went off to look for her. All right. Yeah. I'm honored that a knight is as you. What's going on here? Marie, my daughter has run away. Some people at the inn said they saw her running this way with some fellow. And not... I see. I would, of course. Only, they said, and I've got a horse and wagon here. I might get robbed. Well, she's your daughter. The thing is, it's not the first time she's done it. And, but I've got to carry on to Sternberg, and she's... Ah. Uh. We have something in common. I'm looking for that fellow who ran off with your daughter. What? You... A little. Is he dangerous? Ah, he's as gentle as a lamb. You've no cause to worry. That's a relief. I can have a look for your Marie. You do that? Of course. Helping my neighbour in his hour of need is my... Thank you. You said you found her scar... Yes. Right past the shrubbery. Mm. Farewell. Looks like Hansel and Gretel went this way. Seems it's not booze we're interested in anymore. It's always nice to take away a memento. Ah, oh, shameless hussy. I'm glad you're here, Henry. I thought I'd be stuck here till Judgment Day. What the fuck are you doing here? I picked up this wench at the inn, see? And we wanted to go somewhere quiet. Only the bitch whacked me on the head with a rock and fucked off with all my coin. Did she now? And which way did she go? I haven't a clue. But I reckon as far away from her father as she can get. She won't be going back in a hurry. I've met some mad wenches in my time, but that one was a piece of work. She could have just asked me for coin, instead of trying to smash my skull right away, and then to leave me like this. <laughs> I say that's the pot calling the kettle black. Listen, Henry, that thing with Hagen, I didn't want to, really, but they kept threatening me. 
And then they offered me coin. Jesus, Henry, I've never seen a pile of coin like that in my life. Kuno wouldn't give me as much as half a groschen for a cheap wench. Yeah, yeah, my heart bleeds. Enough. Tell me where I can find Hagen. Hagen? Lord Zul? Yeah, I'll tell you, Henry. We're still mates, right? Oh, I don't know if I'd go as far as mates, but let's... I knew you and me would understand each other. Let you go. That rock must have really scra... Henry, I... I'm really sorry. I swear. I can believe that. But why didn't you tell us about it? You didn't have to betray us. I don't know. I... I was confused. First, tell me where Hagen is. I won't say anything as long as I'm tied up. I know how that goes. I'll be left here for the crows. Why did you have to betray Kuno? Yeah, just like Kuno would do. You've only been with us a while. If you'd been riding with him as long as I have, you'd see through him. He passes himself off as an angel of mercy, but he's as much of a swine as any common footpath. He's no angel, true enough. But that's no cause to... You wouldn't be saying that if he treated you the way he treated... I know what you mean, Jakey. Kuno's no less of a bastard than that Hagen. They're all burnt. Yeah, right? Because Kuno's on my side. I didn't pick him, and maybe Sir Radzig wouldn't have either if he had a choice. But one thing I know. If you don't tell me where Hagen is, more innocent people will... Oh. Hagen's planning to raid some village. Samapesh, I think? He's gonna go there in person, along with what's left of his band. So, are you going to untie me now? All right. Oh, thank you, Henry. Thank you. Ah, uh, you'll buy me a beer and we'll have a friendly game. Maria! I have news of you. Oh? That little vixen bashed Jakey over the head and took his money. Clever lass. What? Who cares? The question is, where... Well, it's not that I feel sorry for that sneaky bastard, but you seem suspiciously happy. Well, Maria's a... I don't know. She cleared off after she... A little... Um, what? Never mind. It's not the first time she's done it. All right. Run along. Farewell. Maria! Marushka! Where are you? God, the blasted girl.
That little imp will be the death of me. Maria, come back! Hear me? Maria, please! My little girl, come back! <coughs> this is all her mother's doing. That little imp will be the death of me. Maria! Maria, come back! Hear me? My little girl, come back! That little imp will be the death of me. This is all her mother's doing. My little girl, come back! My little girl, come back! Maria, please! This is all her mother's doing. I've got something. I got them from Uncle Pet. Uh, the lock. True. I've got something. All right. If I didn't know you, you'd have. Wouldn't you like to take us? It's a bit.
Mira. I found Jakey. Spit it out, then. Zul plans to raid Samapesh, and he wants... I see. I let him go. What? Are you out... Easy. Hmm. Well, you can keep those kind of... Saddle up now. All right. All right. There they are. I can see Zul's colors. It seems they want to parlay, sir. Parlay, eh? Right then. Let's parlay. God be with you, Sakuno. My respects, Sir Hagen. I don't believe I've had the pleasure since the siege of Lansenbach, wasn't it? An age ago, that was. In those days, we fought under the same banner. We did. And even today, we may yet part friends. After all, my quarrel is not with you, but with Kovila. The thing is... Your quarrel with Lord Kovila is my affair, since he tasked me with keeping order in his lands. And you, Hagen, you are disturbing that order. No offence, sir, but you are just a mercenary whose main concern is keeping order in his purse. My dispute with Radzig Kovila concerns a higher ideal. Kovila shamed my family over a trifling misdemeanor. He hanged my father, Raised our castle to the ground, gave our property away to his family and cronies. And for that, I demand just retribution. But you don't have to stand in my way, Kuno. I'm well aware why you serve Ratzig. You owe him a favor. And from what I've heard, it's not the first time you've had to pay him back. It won't be the last either. The fact of the matter is, you fight Kobola's battles for him, and you've little or nothing to show for it. If you accept my offer, 
on the other hand. You can ride away from here a rich man. What do you say, sir? Kuno, you can't do it. You're making a common mistake, Henry. There's a difference between what a man can't do and what he ought not to do. In this case, the difference is the size of Hagen's offer. Have you no honor at all? Just the only bidder. Radzig never offered me because you owe him. And this is the third time I've had to pay him back. My. Hmm. Tell me, Kuno. What do you. If I knew that, I'd have a marble palace in Florence. I'd. But I suppose for a start, he should be skilled in. Oh, that's how you see it. But what about those who enlist your service? What they value is loyalty and fulfilling your duty. A mercenary who turns after coin like a vein after the wind. An eloquent speech, but like I said, I've paid Radzig back quite enough. And then what? Do you think anyone will ever hire you again after they... With that much money, I won't have to worry about that for a while. Anyway, everyone will understand how things... Do you really think Sir Radzig and others like him will share your interpretation? <laughs> Not a chance. Everyone will see you for the swindler and turncoat you are, and Sir Radzig and I will make damn sure you won't come out of this smelling of... Hmm. Call it what you like. Fine. It seems... You'll stay, then? Obviously. Well, it didn't seem so obvious to... Come on now, Henry. Don't take offence. And let's go and... It's true, Sir Hagen. This is not the first time I've paid Radzig back, nor will it be the last. But then, he did save my neck from the noose, so I'll be long beholden to him. I'll make no bargain with you, but I will take your silver. <laughs> you would fight me? You're a damn fool. I've no wish to fight, but neither do you. Otherwise, you wouldn't have tried to buy me off. So it seems that we're evenly matched. Let's see who fortune favors. So be it.
Goof. That's my. Look what I've. You'll love this. Good health. I've got some goods here. All right. Good luck then. Please come to see us. Yeah.
What the... <laughs> Greetings. Sir, we got rid of... <sighs> Finally. We caught up with Hagen in the fields near Merhoyet. But before that... Tell me. How did you persuade Kuno? You're assuming Kuno would have gone for Hagen's offer? I'm quite certain he gave it some thought. Considering I don't pay him a single groschen... You're quite right. So, how... I simply appealed to his honor. <laughs> simply. Knowing Kuno, I'd say it would be simpler to persuade the devil to go to... Ch That's not far off the mark. But maybe he's not that bad after all. In the end, he... Any losses on our side? Kuno's men? Some of Kuno's men fell, unfortunately. I'm sorry to hear that. Such as a... Anyway, you... And thank you, Henry. Once again, I'm beholden to you. Ah, thank you, sir. But I'm sure you'd have managed without... <sighs> don't be so modest, lad. Since that catastrophe at Scalitz, I don't have many people... Best go and rest. Thank you, sir. Take care. Hey!
Stop for a bit. I'll just give you a quick search. Get go. What's going on? For security reasons. For God's sake, don't bother me. Yeah, I'll...
What the? God bless you. Take care. My respects to you. And another thing. What about the captain of the... Sir Bernard, a grouchy old bastard. And Sir Hans Cape? Aye, I saw him. And for a young fellow, he was as drunk as... Well, as a lord. Which he is, of course. Have you met the local... Sir Hanush. Of... Thanks. God be with you.
Henry. So, what are you scheming up this time? Well, we've got this idea. You might have heard there's coin coming to the Tarnberg Quarry to pay the workers their overdue wages. I haven't heard anything about it. They owe them for a quarter of a year. There's a... But it's bound to be well guarded, isn't it? Maybe not. And why aren't we talking about it with Andrew? Andrew hasn't got the balls for it. He sent us there. He did? How come? I don't know. He just said he won't do it. Andrew's not interested. Is it that dangerous? Look, if I'm going to do this... <sighs> it's close to Tarnberg. So if we mess something up, we could have problems. But what a pile of silver. Well, th those, those people work for... Si uh, yeah, yeah. Pale as usual. I know Quarrymaster Rupert. No. And you think it's all right? Is that what we are now? What do you want me to tell you? Take a good fucking look at it. But a thing like this. Do you think we're any better off now than we were in Satsal on our last legs? <laughs> yes. Then you're a fucking fool. Ever since Skelet, everything's been going to hell. To hell with the fucking Quarrymaster. All right, I suppose. About that job. <sighs> I'm in. Wonderful. But before we get to work, we are going to go and take a sly look at that quarry. Meanwhile, you go to Tarnberg and find out when they're bringing it. Try to find out who's going to be guarding it. Even better, if you can make it so there's as few guards as possible, well, you know, I wouldn't be upset. Good luck, then. Yeah.
I just had some time, but they're leaving so soon. I'm glad to see you look like you swallowed a wasp, Master. I should think so. I have three horses. Well, that's not such a you need to keep the horses warm and rub them down with straw, especially the belly and flanks. That'll help settle the give them clean water, change the straw often and leave them enough room and walk them round now and again. But let them go at their own pace. Don't push them. My word. I've been handling horses for years, but I never heard about rubbing them with straw for colic. I'm known in all the stables around here, and I'll be telling... The thing is, Sir Robard wants four horses for the train to the quarry, and they won't be fit by then. The quarry? What's going on there? I don't know, but a guarded train like that? They must be carrying... When do they need the... There's still some time. They're supposed to be there in five days at noon. Hmm. What about some help from someone else? You mean from that old hag who lives in the woods? I'm not so foolish. It's not about spells. She can try to make a herbal concoction. I know something about herbs, and I'll make sure she doesn't put anything in it that... Hmm. All right. Take care.
No, my God, no. Let me sleep. Thank <laughs> you. 